Hey, this is Frank from Korg USA, and today I'd like to give you a basic demonstration on how to use the Kronosys sampler to create samples, multi samples, and convert it into a program. The first step is to set your mic line inputs on the back of the Kronos under audio inputs and turn down the volume using the small knobs. Now, in sampling mode, use the top drop down menu to press auto sampling setup and choose record audio input. To the right, you can choose to have your sample recorded in stereo or mono, and below that is the option to save it to RAM or disk. Press the sampling record button and gradually turn up the audio input level on the back of the Kronos to your desired levels. Now with the sampling record button still on, press start stop, record your audio, and press start stop again. Rename your newly recorded sample in the drop-down menu. At this point, you can create a multi-sample, or in our case, create another sample for our multi-sample by pressing the multi-sample tab. In this multi-sample setup box, you can toggle between your recorded samples to change parameters like the range and original key. Press the Create button to create a new sample. Press the Sample Record and Start Stop buttons to record the next sample. Rename your new sample by once again using the drop-down menu. Once you are happy with your samples, Rename the multi-sample by using the drop-down menu to select Rename Multi-Sample. To convert the multi-sample to a program, once again use the drop-down menu, but this time select Convert Multi-Sample to Program. Change your program name and choose an empty bank slot. Now that your multi-sample is successfully converted to a program, you must save the multi-sample and samples to the internal SSD drive. If not, you will lose them both when you power off the Kronos. To save them to the internal SSD drive, press Disk, File, Save, and under Drive Select, choose the internal drive. In the top drop-down menu, press Save Sampling Data. Under the Sampling Mode Data options, choosing All will save all samples and multi-samples, including samples not used in the multi-sample. However, if you're looking to optimize space, I'd recommend choosing All Multi-Samples, as this will save all multi-samples and only samples used in that multi-sample, while discarding unused samples. When you touch All Multi-Samples, the name of the multi-sample by default will automatically appear in the KSC name field at the top. If you wish to change the KSC name to a different name, touch the T, enter the new name, and then OK. To have the Kronos automatically load your samples and multi-samples when powering on, please be sure to check out our KSC auto load video. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments about the Kronos, please let us know in the comments below. Take care.